Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy. Look at this wood floor. Like, see how it reflects the light? The little, you know, highlighting there? It, it reflects it onto the, the metal part too, which isn't as good. But, I really like this floor. Like, it looks really good. Anyway, um, so we have a quest to go and probably head over to Gridania. It's called Called Forest. But before we do that, I am going to spend some more time in Limsa Lamenza. We need to get the next crafting quest out of the way. Maybe start another, another um, combat quest? I don't know. We'll see. We certainly can do things. Um, we just finished a dungeon. We played it as our Thaumaturge. I kind of want to do another dungeon as a different quest, different class type. Either a healer or a tank. So, we'll see. But um, for now, we need to head over to the Armorer's Guild. <clears throat> Here we are. The armorer's craft is an offshoot of blacksmithing. There was a time when armorers and smithies were the same. As the years trickled by, the techniques for working sheet metal into armor became a specialized trait. And smithies who showed uncommon skill and passion for it earned themselves the title of armorer. The skills necessary for making armor are also needed for shipbuilding, but building ships is harder than knocking out simple helms, which led those armorers who were good enough to work on boats to claim the title as shipwright. So armorers were blacksmiths and shipwrights were armorers, but it was quite another calling shipwrights blacksmiths. Because building a ship and making a hatchet couldn't be more different. So they drew a, a line. <laughs> that makes sense. Ananza is a renowned shipwright and one of the finest crafters in Limsa Lamenza. So that's interesting. So all of the, the, the best armorers are actually the ones that make the ships. It makes sense. And it really, you know, pushes it into, you know, it's, it's good world building. Life of an armorer is not an easy one. Day after day you'll pit flesh and blood against iron and flame. Without a passion for the forge you will fail. But passion alone shall not make an armorer of you. To master the craft you must be possessed of a will as unyielding as the metals you work. If you ever give me odd less than your best you'll be out the door before you realize my boot is connected with your backside. There we go. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were an armor. Of course, I do know better. Until you craft something, you'll look like a babe with a rattle to me. I have no intention of mothering you. Save your sweat for the forge, lass. I don't expect you to fashion full suits of plate on your first day. Just pay close attention to my instructions. Be diligent in your work, and the skill will come in due time. Take up your hammer and make a bronze ingot. I happen to already have one. Just the one, though, apparently. I think we're probably going to need to spend... The first thing we do is make a whole bunch of more ingots. The key to making good bronze is judging the ratio of copper to tin. 
With too much tin, the alloy becomes harder but more brittle. It's not the sort of material you want protecting your vital organs. Quality is a matter of life and death in our craft. We teach our initiates the ideal metallurgical composition of every item we forge. Not that I'll quick to learn. Some who seem there are some who seem destined to produce mediocre results, however painstakingly the processes are detailed. Do not let this first success make you complacent. A single bad helm will lose you more trust than a hundred good ones will win. Bad armor means dead men. It's not enough that your work be good. It needs to be consistently good. Achieving consistency requires discipline and long hours of crafting the same item over and over, and again and again. This means a mountain of bronze ingots. Bronze ingots in your dreams. Bronze ingots until the process is so ingrained that you wake up and find your pillow is an ingot you made in your sleep. <laughs> when you feel you've learned all you can from making ingots, seek me out and I will find you something useful else to craft. Let's just buy a bunch of ore. Oh, we have to fix our bars. Of course, they're always bad at the beginning. Alright. Just make one, and then we'll just auto-craft, like, for another 50 or so. <laughs> While that's going on, what can we be doing? So I was trying to find a good good layout for my item for my crafting stuff. And I think I've got one. Or at least with the abilities I've unlocked so far. But the abilities I haven't like this one, innovation, I don't have a good place for it yet. That feels like it should be on right, um, on right trigger right. But that's where I have, that's where I have ways not. Maybe right trigger up? What's inner quiet? Gain a stack of inner quiet with every increase in quality up to 10. Okay. Wow, look at this jump from 11 to 15 to 31 to 63 to 82. Interesting. I'm kind of curious what that what that does. Let me just put that over here, uh, just for a moment, just so we can test it out in a moment. What about our? Uh, we have challenges, which is resetting in um, a bit, a few days. We completed one apparently. The crafting one, I'm betting. Yeah, we crafted 30 items. I 
would like to catch some fish. Maybe we'll do, we'll bow out of this pretty quickly, and then go and um, do some fishing. Because I'm feeling more like fishing than crafting, to be honest. Let's see if we can craft some high quality items though, just as a uh, a way to get this, and of course to push up our um, our armor level. I'm betting that gathering maybe that counts as fish also. So like, can we just gather? Get I mean, there's like a fish on the icon. I don't know. It seems like maybe fishing could just knock out a whole bunch of these. Here, how far are we? 61. We're, we're two thirds of the way done. Oh, 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 stop. We should deal with our spirit bond stuff. So we can keep on building, rebuilding our spirit bond. More materia, ever more. You know, I've got like crafting this set, except I don't have good. I don't have good um, pa um, shoes. Although really, I probably do have. I just need to equip them. But I don't have like crafting. Necklaces, all, all, all our all our jewelry, is um, just combat stuff. Maybe I should try making some. Go back to being goldsmith and see if I can get some crafting level stuff. It seems like they're not quest rewards either. Hmm. Anyway, um, we we made a bunch and we have another quest to do. Where are you? There you are. It seems one of our younger members, Swithin, accepted an, accepted an order he would struggle to fulfill in thrice the time he promised. I'm tempted to let him squeal under the weight of his own ambition. The guild is not in the habit of delivering late. Several veteran armorers have volunteered their services, but I would also like you to assist. On the one hand, you'll be helping to spare the guild necessary embarrassment, and the other you'll be deepening your understanding of the craft. The builder could not have planned it better. For your part, you are to craft three bronze hoplins. We'll need maple lumber. Let's see how much we need. So, bronze hoplin is this one. Just one each. But we're also going to need one there, so four... Not so much wood. Okay. Yeah, our um, as a weaponsmith, as a blacksmith, we needed wood for like everything. But instead, this just seems to be more and more bronze. So I said I needed like I don't even remember. I said like four or five probably. And I need some leather. Okay, how's this alarm work? No alarm set. Add an alarm. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you can give yourself an alarm just at a random time if you need it. I'm not going to use it for now, but I might, you know, keep it in mind. We could say we're going to spend no more than an hour doing crafting or whatever, or gathering. <laughs> So the hoplins, they need plates. And let me, let me move this first. So I said I'm putting this one over here. No, I'm putting that one up here.
Okay. Um, and these I didn't have a good spot for. So I'm gonna just, from now I'm just gonna put them over here. Oops. I meant over here. Seems like it uses a lot of the same animations as the backsmithing. But maybe that's just because we don't have our secondary tool yet. I do like that it rains here. It doesn't rain in Old Dawn. I lost count. How many of these do we have now? Seven. We don't even need that many. Yes, we do, because we're going to need them for other things. It's fine. <clears throat> That's different. A little twisty. Let's switch gear. I'm sure at level 10 we've got some upgrades. Yeah. I'm gonna need one more, one more plate. Apparently I already have a bronze top on, but I'm probably using it, like it's probably well, one of my classes uses it for something. Here you go.
Impressive. You balance the conflicting requirements of sturdiness and portability. The bronze plate is securely fitted and should weather the most vicious blows. Importantly, your work was swift and sure. Many an armorer has lost a sale due to late delivery. And rightly so. A customer's need for armor is invariably pressing. Its absence likely to be sorely felt. Given the stakes, a reputation for liability can mean handsome profits, especially at a time when Maelstrom is seeking armorers to outfit its ever-expanding ranks. It's all we can do to keep pace with the Grand Company's orders for equipment, and that's why every member of our guild must support the next. Though you have but recently begun your training, a woman of your natural talents belongs on the front line. Time has come for you to learn the use of another weapon in the armorer's arsenal. Pliers. I think the next quest is a, um, you know, it's like Craft 30 or something. Or whatever. Just the last I was hoping to see. A new initiate has near exhausted my reserves of patience, and she would benefit from seeing the result of a pure dedication and skill. Her name is Grenay, and Builder helped me she's the most distracted, fumble-fingered craftswoman ever to lift a hammer. If she could but learn to forge the simplest of items with, without constant supervision. What is this noise? I hear bells. I would consider it a rare victory. Craft a dozen sheets of bronze plate. There we go. Oh well, almost complete it says. There you go. So you were talking about her behind your back, well not even behind her back, right in front of her? Saying those horrible things about her? She's like right in front of you. Terrible guild master. Did you craft these yourself? They're absolutely Whoa, nearly dropped them. No harm done though. As I was saying. <clears throat> I can certainly see why the Forge Master speaks so highly of your work. The bronze is perfect color and thickness, but I assume you carefully measured out the amount of tin and copper. I always add too much tin. Did you know metal can shatter? Well, I didn't. Truth be told, I've tended to put all my effort to making the armor itself, rather than bothering with the base materials. I mean, compared to hammering out glorious winged helms or ornate greaves, measuring out metals seems so trivial. But looking at your work, I'm beginning to wonder. I never realized how beautiful a simple sheet of bronze could be. With materials like this, just imagine the sturdy, shiny suits of armor one might create. I've been putting the cart before the Chocobo. Chocobo. From this moment onwards, I will focus all my attention and care on the task at hand, even if the task at hand is forging bronze ingots. What of you, Ye? Do you have any grand projects waiting for you on the anvil? I overheard some of the senior armorers boasting about the coin they made through tradecraft leaves. Yeah, we should try that at some point.
we've yet to actually get to the point where we needed m more money than we had, so it's not really a problem at the moment. We don't have the next quest yet. Let's just push ourselves up. Could be simple. Uh, I need copper ingots. Or I can make iron plates. I've got iron ingots too. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll just make a bunch of these. Oh, we not might not be able to make it high quality. Ah, unfortunate. Bad timing. And there's our uh, achievement, or challenge. This rate of high quality is terrible. One for 20. not um, put veneration for now let's put it over here and put waste not there next quest please oh wait no first of all we have a few things that can be extracted. Have you been yay there's work to be done speak with another novice a last by the name of Driswida. i was due a barbet and a buckler from her bells ago i found myself standing here with nary a nose guard 
Lest you wonder, dearest Weta is nothing like Renee. She's dedicated to craft as you are. I have never known her to miss delivery. Something must be amiss. Find out what. What are you doing? You're just staring out over the edge. You need to be working. I'm sorry the Forge Master I didn't interrupt your work, so you may assist me with mine. I do hope you're not angry. I don't know if I could endure another dressing down. As pathetic as it sounds, that's the reason my delivery is late. I, I just, I can't bring myself to work. I'm sorry, I should start from the beginning. A short while ago, I received a visit from an armorer by the name of Blanstair. He's one of the old guard, a veteran of the guild. <coughs> After about a single glance at the armor I'd made, he yelled that my work wasn't fit to cover a kobold's arse. And now I cannot banish the scene from my mind. Am I truly so talentless? The shame, it, it paralyzes me. If he'd explained the flaws of my work, I might endeavor to correct them. But I couldn't bring myself to speak to him, or to anyone else. Can you speak with Blanster on my behalf? I know the reason- I need, I need to know the reason behind this- this reprimand. That is frustrating when someone says something is terrible, but doesn't explain why they think it's terrible. He just kind of leaves you with nothing to do. I'm Blanstear. If you're looking for an armorer with skill and integrity, you found him. What are you after? What is amiss with Dear Svita's work? Dear, Dear Svita, I think? Dear Svita's work. All those whelps training under Hananza get their heads filled with daft but notions of cooperation and camaraderie. What they should be learning is how to use a pair of pliers. I've yet to meet one of our novices that could forge an ingot worth a damn. And them as ain't got the skill ain't worth my time. I'll give you one chance to prove yourself. Craft the same pieces as your friend made such a meal of. A decorated bronze barbet and a bronze buckler. Alright, well, do I have what I need? Probably not. Bronze Buckler. There it is. Need some iron rivets. There we go. And the decorated bronze bar butt. There it is. Which needs a <coughs> needs a regular bronze bar butt. Which needs copper ingots. Actually, what did the other one need? Uh, another copper ingot. So, two copper ingots and one brass ingot. make copper ingots. There you
There we go. Oh no, we need to make it the next step too. This might not be high quality. It's it's. Uh, we could probably do it. Yeah, we're fine. <coughs> Excuse me. But the progress bar is getting a bit full. Like we're having to synthesize over and over again. Let me pull it up. It means we need better gear. There you go. Back at last, are you? Do you think you crawled off to old Da to buy the damn thing from a back alley peddler? Are you sure you made these yourself? Seems at least one of Hananza's whelps knows the difference twixt a hammer and a sledge. You've got some talent, lass. This barbet well shows the character of your work. Precise and uncompromising, as it should be. You've realized that forging a helm ain't a matter of slapping a few molded sheets of bronze together. Nice. And your buckler is just as good. Small and light, but a damn sight sturdier than shields twice the size. Didn't expect to be saying this, but I'm impressed. You can make a tidy living for yourself as an artisan. But you're the exception, as proves the rule, lass. The other novices don't aren't fit to look, lick your boots. So you tell her this from me. If you have the time to wallow in wounded tears, you have the time to examine your own mistakes. There's no room in this world for craftsmen that can't criticize their own handiwork. Learn how to gauge your fa your failings and correct them, or hang up your hammer. You still didn't tell her what the issue is. Uh, he, he, he said your rivets weren't tight enough. If such strength was required to master the armor's arts, I might have made a mistake. I joined the guild with the dream of following Hananza's footsteps, but that was folly. I shall have to think long and hard about my aspirations. Convey my apologies to the Forge Master. Ah, it was Blanster that caused this mess. The old bastard always did take it upon himself to weed out the weaker initiates. We're not exactly on the best of terms, he and I, even after all this time. I have known Blanstair since we were not but wide-eyed novices, serving our apprenticeships under the same master. We always had our differences, but when our master retired, they became that much more stark. When we both put ourselves forward for the role of Forge Master, the resulting contest drove a permanent wedge between us. His arguments are not entirely without merit, but neither is approach the only way to train new armorers. For that damnable curmudgeon, though, it's his way or no way at all. The idea of nurturing aught less than God's given talent is anathema to and his ears wax deaf at the mere mention of it. But outfitting an army is the work of more than a talented few. It's the work of many hands acting in unison. I've turned a blind eye to Blancer's behavior until now, but if he would threaten the unity of the guild, something needs to be done. What else can we make? Like, I'd prefer to make stuff like for other um, for other classes, even if we don't have access to that yet. I guess it's all for other classes. Like, this would be for a gladiator. We're gonna need a bunch of iron plates. Let's just make a ton of iron plates. Uh, 
I should have wasted on it. We're fine. Sure, whatever. <laughs> Our gear is all breaking. I mean, in theory, I should probably just, you know, unequip my um, non crafting gear. But I suppose it's spirit bonding, though, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe never mind. Skelt. That needs ash. I don't have ash. Ash seeketh embers. That needs elm. This needs bronze rivets. I can make those though. Oh, wait. From for armor crafting, yeah. It's the same recipe both, right? I guess one uses fire, one uses water. I need to deal with this menu better. I'm not I wanna get back to my old recipe and I don't see an easy way to do it. What was I looking at? <laughs> um, well, not these. So was I trying to make this hat? I guess so. Sure. Oops. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. That's a shame. I was trying to move the cursor on the left. Hmm.
That was a waste. What are these two? This is Beastie Touch. Okay. We pulled it off, even though we wasted a whole bunch of of C Iron Rings. What am I getting? I'm getting 23 from crafting. No procs at all, no condition changes. Boring. Oh, then I get it good after I'm done. <clears throat> Let's make another ring. And a new hat or new gauntlets? New gauntlets. I guess we can make a hat too. One more set of rings. Ninety eight percent is good enough. There we go. Let's see what the next quest is. How fair are you, yay? Any further dealings with Blandstair? I do hope its bile must not begin to wear away at your better judgment. Lest you think me unjust, I do not dispute his skill with a hammer. I take issue with the lack of respect he shows to those he deems inferior. 
He's responsible for breaking the spirits of more than a few novice armorers, and our ranks suffer for it. I cannot in good conscience remove his name from the guild register. For all his flaws, his knowledge and experience will be too great a loss. I must find a way to soften the old buzzard's stance. I require your assistance. He will not unfold his thoughts to me, but he will to you. Don't look so surprised. You're one of the few armorers in this place whom he wouldn't see cast out. He may possess all the charm of a rapid coero, but he does have a fine eye for talent and an appreciation for well-crafted goods. Take him one of your best iron hoplons and and meld a materia to it. Let's go repair our gear. <laughs> And let's put all that stuff I just made into the into the um into our chest. There was, but I guess not. Oh no, there it is. All right, iron hop on. Have I made one of those yet? No. It needs elm. Yeah, that's stuff you can't get. I have to go to the go to the the um what's it called the market either that or become a botanist which we will do eventually uh what was it again the second it is Elm Lumber. Materia enhance it. With something terrible. Skill speed. Oh, I can't. I can't hold skill speed. I have a determination. Bye. 
Lands here. The dude over here. Look at this thing. What's this? Brought me a shield, have you? With materia. Impressive, but don't imagine a bit of materia is enough to make up for shoddy workmanship. I ain't the kind of be blinded by blinded by spark these last. Let's have a closer look. It's when they make the step up from bronze to iron that the weaker craftsmen start to show their limitations. The metal being a damn sight harder to shape. All manner of flaws creep into their work. But there ain't a single bleeding one in the shield. Your hammer blows were steady and measured. And you've kept the thickness of the iron nice and even, too. No bugger wants his shield splitting in half because the armor beat a plate too thin. A fine piece of work, this. Damn fine. That's twice you passed my inspection now, I'm convinced. You've the kind of skill as demands respect. As one artist and another, let me ask you a question. What are your thoughts on Hananza's handling of the guild? I know you ain't been with us long, but you must have wondered what she was playing at, am I right? The soft-hearted wench is polluting the damn fine place with blundering amateurs, but our armorers in naught but name. An armorer crafts gear as keeps men alive. If you lack the skill or the experience to make armor as will do that job, you have no business holding a hammer. Just imagine what would happen if a breastplate made by one of them lackwits fell apart in battle. And not just to, to the poor bastard wearing it, neither. I'm talking about what would become of the guild's good name. The way Hananza entrusts these novices with a real craftsman's work. She's spitting in the face of the builder. Only a tried and true armorer should be taking orders. By refusing to get rid of the dregs, Hananza's dampening the flames in our forges. Forge master my arse, how can she be so bloody blind? So I'm sympathetic to this dude. There's, there's absolutely a point where you do have to get rid of the dregs. Like, I, I, my job is managing a group of people, and I've I've had to fire people. You know, I've had to fire someone from my group because they just weren't cutting it. At the same time, half of the people in my group are below the average. You know, I mean, it, it, nobody's perfect. Everybody in my group has some flaw, and I have my own flaws. And part of my job as a manager is is not only training up them up so that their flaws are, you know, either accommodated or uh, at least mitigated, but putting people so that their flaws don't, that they're still able to get job, work done without their flaws getting in the way. Finding the right task for the right people. And I'm well aware that my boss, you know, puts me on certain tasks and not others because I'm not good at some things. And I'm much, I'm very good at other things. So, yeah, I mean, you have to get rid of the dregs. I mean, if someone's just way down there at the bottom, you can't help them. But most people need to be cultivated. You can't just rely on innate talent. Your job is to be a teacher, to support those you're in charge of. Anyway, that's level 20 for us. 21, in fact. What st great strides. Great strides. Increases the efficiency of the next touch action by 100. So it's basically banking on the idea that you'll get like an excellent or a good in the next three steps. That's interesting. It's a fine place for it, where it is. Anyway, we are going to move on to something else. I think it is time to learn how to fish. Ba -da. Ba -ba 
Hey there! Hey! Hey! How I mine for fish? Let me walk through the life of a fisherman in Limsa Liminza. We're surrounded by the seas. The fishing sites are a fisherman's delight. If you can't fish it here, you can't fish it anywhere. While some of us rope our fish with rods and reels, others skim the seabed with nets for creepy crawly critters. We cast a wide net. People prattle about, prattle about our pores just about everywhere in Limsa. And there's much more I haven't mentioned. We shepherd the ships, preside over the ports, manage the mongers, all the while making sure not to leave any adventurers out to sea. We'll start you off with the rod and reel. You may not necessarily net the numbers net fishing yields, but pole fishing positively pulls prettier prizes. And that's the long and short of it. When you're ready for another bite of bait, I'll reel you in before the guildmaster. Unfortuitously, unfortunately, and somewhat ironically, our nefarious netmaster is out fishing at the moment. <laughs> CC Poo tends to task require tending to. Cece Poo. Yes, yes, save your breath. I heard every word between you and Namalika. So I know she told you my role here. Wawalago is supposed to be the guild master, but apparently he has bigger fish to fry. So all of his work fails to me. Falls to me. That includes making sure our new fish aren't shellfish, idiots, or potential anemones. You've passed the first test by not laughing at that awful joke. <laughs> Are you prepared to fish like you've never fished before? Absolutely. You're smarter than the majority of bottom dwellers that find their way here. Welcome to the guild. This wouldn't be much of a guild if we send you out to sea with only a pole and a prayer. I can spare you a few pearls of wisdom. You're still going to need that pole and a prayer, so I can at least provide you with the former. Here you go. One out of two isn't bad. You even get some lugworms since you're not going to get far without bait. The rods we bestow upon our new fish are priceless objects. Which is to say they don't cost anything. <laughs> Once you know what you're doing, you'll probably want a proper one. In the meantime, see if you can figure out how to hold the bowl. Readying your line. The fish you must change become a, become a fisher. If the body of water you are near is fishable, the icon for the cast icon will glow. Determine a bait to apply by selecting the bait. Some bait can only be used in certain locations, or for landing certain types of fish. Bait and tackle can be harvested, made by disciples of the hand, or purchased from various merchants. Look at this. This is how many classes we have yet to even begin. Like, I feel like we've done a lot of work getting just these these five classes up. And, uh... And we've done five... Six, six um, crafting classes. So far. But we've done nothing in terms of the actual combat. Oh, well. Some of them aren't even unlocked yet. <clears throat> but we need a healer class. Look at that. We don't have anything under healer. Uh, I, I guess that should be a goal. Next time we choose a new class, let's make it. Let's make it be a um a healer. I know our summoner, our arcanist, can um can do a little bit of healing, but maybe not, like solo heal. I don't know. Anyway, what am I doing? I need to equip the fishing rod. And we need to fix our our. We need to fix this. This is a mess. I'll get rid of that. We 
don't need our inventory up. There's a fish guide. I think I might want that, so I'm going to bring that down, down there. And a fishing log, which I'll put over here. Now, as for what we've got, we've got casting, which is a fine place for that. And hooking, which is different. Hmm. Let's put quit there. I'm gonna switch hook and cast because I'm 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 used to spamming B or A for uh, for hooking. And I guess let's put bait there for now. All right, you're looking quite formidable. Let's hope you don't scare away all the fish. First rule of fishing is to hold on to your rod. Take care of your rod, and your rod will take care of you. Since you're new here, we're going to start small. We don't come much more than anchovies. You'll find schools of anchovies swimming around outside in the bay. Anchovies are the most cunning fish, are hardly the most cunning fish, making them an ideal first assignment. Simply bait a hook with some of these lugworms, dip it in the water, and the fish will catch themselves. When you feel a tug on your line, use the hook action. Fishing log. Your fishing log contains invaluable information on every, everything from fishing hole locations, the fish data, to personal records. You see, that's the thing people don't understand about fishing. It's not about the fish. It's about the data. So, I guess we could just start fishing. After using cast to cast your line into water, simply sit back and wait. When the fish bites, you'll see the line being tugged, but you'll also hear it. While the fish is on the line, use the hook action to reel it in. Your chances of success are directly affected by the fishing type and gathering rating. Oh, no bait. We have you cast your line at the undiscovered fishing hole. So I watch it over my head, I don't watch it in the water. Using actions from other classes. The armory system not only allows you freedom to change between classes, but also the ability to wield the actions obtained through those Disciple of the hand or Land or Hand classes. To make these actions accessible, open the character, go to Actions and Traits, select Additional, display a list of actions, and then add them. Once an action has been added, select the icon and press the button combination to put it. At level 10, you can only you only get two. The number will increase every five levels. Like what? What can we do? Additional. So I got it. So I could I could have a prospect up. Oh. Let's put it there. I'd rather have stealth, but you know, whatever. Uh, we need more anchovies.
finger shrimp. That's a new one. So are we actually using up bait? Like every time we catch them? Marathor Gobi. And we gained a new ability. Yes, we are actually using up our bait. Chum. What is that? Chum. Reduces the amount of time for the next fish to bait. To bite. That's convenient. A strip of Malm kelp. It says some of these are large. Like, is that like high quality? Or these are not high quality fish? Fish size. The higher your perception, the better your chance you have of landing large sized fish. Depending on the variety, it may be usable for mooching. Still need another anchovy.
Hope the bait's not too expensive. There we go. Have some anchovies. <clears throat> Here, Toby, Toby. Here, Toby, Toby. Bear flock of feisty fish you've got. Giddy guppy. Careful they don't slip out of sight. Wawalago! To what do we owe the pleasure? A guildmaster's got to get after the guppies. Dividing up the daily drudgery, picking out a proper potable and some such support and service. And who gets after the guildmaster? We have books to balance, you know. Books you should be balancing. I did my best to balance the books. But the bilge keel bent the bow back, bouncing the whole batch off the boat. That's not what you know, it's just an expression. But that's neither here nor there. As long as you keep at the bit, yea, our books will balance themselves. Any beginner can snag some anchovies. You'll need to experiment with different lures and explore new waters if you want to catch big ones. Fundamentals are fine. But the fun is fishing for new finds. Fishing's like philandering. You never know what you'll catch. Oh God. <laughs> and with those well-spoken words of wisdom, we shall we will leave you to your wiles. I've got two quests. Okay, well, start with yours. I smell you haven't been neglecting your duties. A commendable attitude. No one's ever gotten worse at anything by practicing. Then again, you can't expect the same old tricks to work with new fish. Big ones don't grow to be that way, chasing everything that wiggles and off. To catch the fish you want, you must first know what the fish wants. Only once their prize is at stake can you tantalize and tempt your prey to taste the forbidden tackle. Anchovies may be willing to settle up for lugworms, but harbor herring have a discerning palate that prefers pill bugs. Don't take my word for it. Go and see for yourself. Pick up some pill bugs from someone over in Hawker's Alley and use them to catch three local harbor herring. Fish aren't as foolish as most would think. Keep casting your line in the same waters, and you'll find that fewer folk will take the bait. Interesting. So you can actually, like, deplete an area? What do you got for me, man? All the fish in the sea. If it ain't yay, you may have just taken up your rod, but anyone can see you've got the keen eye of a fisherman. And you're looking to make that eye keener. Bigger fish. More exotic locales. That's what we all seek. It just so happens I can tell you how to find them. The Fisherman's Guild has just finished constructing a vast boat equipped for voyages in the high seas. Captain Forzagale is still looking for a band of fishermen, adventurous, adventurous enough to brave the deepest fishing hole of them all. If you have the stones for it, he'll be glad to take you on. Well, first things first, we need some better bait. Uh, what did he say it was? Pill bugs. This is for ocean fishing. And 
and this is all for hire. So it's really, it's not that you really, okay. So really it's just a level thing. You need higher level bait. You don't need actually different bait. Maybe I'm wrong. I am wrong because this is level one. This is for freshwater fishing. And this is also for freshwater. Okay. But that makes sense. So there's okay. There, there's quite a quite a difference here. Let's look at our logs. So in the lower decks, there are these fish. This one I don't know. I haven't caught an these yet. And this one has restrictions. It has special conditions. Are we still in lower or are we in upper now? We're still in lower. That's fine. Can I just fish like right here? Other people are. Yeah. So switch to the pill bug. Ocean Cloud. That's a new one. A jellyfish. <clears throat> that had two exclamation points. Maybe it's special? Coral Butterfly. Another new one. This is relaxing. Like, um, crafting is actually, it's like solving puzzles, you know? Oh, and it's keeping track of this big list of potential things you want to buy or what you need to craft, the order and all that. So it's not really relaxing to craft. It's very engaging. Being, um, almost more than the combat, I'd say. But, um, this fishing, it's just sitting back and seeing what pops makes it much more relaxing. Another special one. There's the harbor herring. Let's switch our gear if we can.
That's two. There we go. <clears throat> Nothing better than salted harbor herring. Let's see, perhaps fried harbor herring or grilled. No, definitely salted. Man, I want some fish sticks. I'm hungry all of a sudden. You know, in the yester years of my youth, I used to use every fish I yanked out to yield a bigger one. A good gamble until the game got gargantuan. I guess I got greedy. Where did you. Well. Sometimes it's best to throw back the big ones. Good gods, what a guildmaster gotta do to garner a grain of gratitude. Acting respectable would be a start. Respectable? I sailed the seas and snared everything that swam in them. And that would be an accomplishment if by everything that swam in them you meant fish and not lady divers. All you ever brought back were stories about carousing with trollops. <laughs> Look at him prancing around. <laughs> but chauvinism is just a red herring. The harbor herring are what's important. Namely the lesson of thinking from the perspective of the fish when selecting the bait. In that regard, you truly have the mind of a fish. So here is a treat. Some of it may seem like gibberish at first, but as you make your observations and jot down notes, eventually all of it will be gibberish. Take some time to study up. Be careful not to fry your fish brain. You'll need it for your next lesson. What's that in your eye, Yang? Eh? I know that glimmer. It's the eye of the fisher, the thrill of the bite, rising up to the challenge of your arrival. Keep that spark alive. You don't want to end up like Wabalaga. Not that I'm worried about you. Oh yes, I can see it. There's a fire inside you. Burning for fish. More fish. Bigger fish. It's time to feed the fire. Today is the day, the day you catch your first big one. No one ever forgets their first. Journey to the banks of the Nim in middle Ladoskia. There you'll find her, the princess trapped. Take the princess and return here triumphant. Her royal highness is drawn to crayfish balls. Let's do this other guy's quest though first. So... All the way to the fairy docks, which is near the Arcanus Guild.
Another daring soul come to join our crew. Let me be the first to welcome you to the Endeavor. This ain't your regular fishing boat. We sail it where we please, holding only the course the wind provides us. It's the only way we can see the unseen, know the unknown. Captain For Forzigo. The Endeavor is the guild's only ship of this magnitude. And if we, uh, as you say, sail only where the wind pleases to take us, we might never, uh, might not ever return. The guild may not look favorably upon such liberal use of its property. My apologies for forgoing introduction. I'm Drisk Thata, sent from the Fisherman's Guild to oversee this venture. Why am I here when the ship already has a captain? As you may already know, members of our trade, Master Wawalago and Captain Ferzigal included, have difficulties managing time. I suppose the concept becomes something of an afterthought when we become so focused on the water surface. I am here to ensure the ship adheres to the schedule, both by managing its finances and ensuring new crew members board smoothly. The Endeavor shall embark upon any number of predetermined routes each of which will have this port as their final destination. Rest assured, if you fail to join one voyage, the ship shall return before long. The route we travel will be determined by our departure time. Pray bear in mind, we must keep to a strict schedule. We cannot take on more crew members after we have begun boarding, and there are no exceptions to this rule, even for captains. When we board the ship is when we get to the exciting part. Fishing! Take these lures. They're certain to attract something worth displaying on your wall. Should be enough to last for one voyage. If you're looking for other kinds of baits, buy it here on the docks or on the ship. Switch it up now and then. If you only use the same bait, you're only going to keep catching the same fish. While Dristhada here may be in charge of the particulars on land, once we're on the ship, it's my word you'll heed. When I say we're fishing here or we're sailing there, I won't hear no objections. And with that, the endeavor is yours to board. Ocean fishing unlocked. Potential crew members may register to board the Endeavor in 15 minute intervals every two hours. It will depart early if enough people sign up. Using lures. In addition to bait, there may exist several types of man made lures. Lures are applied in the same manner as bait. They can sense the difference between live bait and lures and may take longer to register a bite. Lures can be reused, gotcha, and give you bigger fish. I can't help but notice that there isn't, um, there is not a boat nearby. So you're leaving at two in ten minutes. Sure. I wonder how long it's... Okay, never mind. Well, we'll just go ahead, we'll fish a bit for now, then we'll wait for that ship to open up again.
we're only 10 minutes out from it. on the reeling. Yeah, I forgot we had these um, challenges. So it did not count as gathering comparable level items. Or this. But it did count as fish. We need three more large sized fish. We have plenty of time for that. Okay, actually, I think while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to refresh myself. So be right back. Should be soon. Other people have started to gather. I thought I'd take the time just to do some, you know, gem crafting or goldsmithing. Rather than keep on fishing for a bit. Because we're going to be fishing a lot in a moment, I assume. And we left our goldsmithing down at level 10. Like, we didn't push that up much at all. Is there actually going to be a ship pulling up to here? I think that'd be cool to see. There's certain common outfits I see a lot. Is it ready yet? No longer accepting. Less than a minute. There we go. It's not here. That's unfortunate. I was hoping like a ship would sail up. <clears throat> Forming party. So I guess it's like it almost counts as like its own raid. Everyone else has appeared. Why am I still here? I'm so low level, maybe. There's special bait for... Okay. Spectral currents. Special weather effect. Players accumulate points and get rewards for their missing their final score. There's like a lot to this. Like I thought it was just gonna be us, you know, going out on a boat and fishing. But it's like maybe there's more to it than that. I don't know. Everyone else has these snazzy outfits, and I, I look kind of 
<laughs> I'm like wearing clothes. Just like just some hempen limit break. Limit breaks are powerful actions. Doesn't matter. Joining a party. I've joined a party. Catch sharks. Catch fish rated triple or higher. Can I go out? No. Okay, we need some bait. Uh, fishing bait. Ocean fishing. Look at his fishing rod. It's all yellow. It's glowy. Dolphins around the ship. Nothing bites. Oh, wrong bite. Try the versatile lure. More dolphins? A Galadian chubby. Oh my! A spectral current! A leopard eel! Heaven's key. That looks some that looks cool. It's green too, maybe it's important. Ghost shark. This is fun! <laughs> we got another shark. Is it cause we're in, it's it's cause we're in this like special area. Another heavens key. Gal Galadian Spectral Current. Yeah, that's what... Okay. It's like its own fishing hole area. Or whatever. Navigator's Print. Okay, now we're back into just a regular one. Outer Galadian Bay. There's goals about. Wonder what drew him there. Gladian Gobi. 
So yeah, yeah, these are separate areas entirely. And these like have their own um They're all green. I wonder if it's special. And I guess there's like each air each of these different scheduled voyages would lead you to different places. This is Galadium Bay. Well, I need another shark, and then a whole bunch more weak, weak bite fish. Look at it! Everyone is so much higher level, like level 42, 48, 74. They got level 90s here. Now that that says good things about to me about this game. That people that are level 90 are coming back here to content that was accessible at level 10. And still playing it. Content that was made 10 years ago. I mean, who knows why. Oh, we're catching on these leopard eels now. to a new definition, a new destination soon. Krill up next. Do I want to switch? Well, I don't have anything else. I've got these lugworms. Straits of Marathor. A ghoul barracuda. Ooh, triple exclamation point. Mamora Mora. We're finding out of all these new fish, we're getting so many levels. <laughs> Patience. Okay, I can't read this now. Fishing holes. I need to actually, you know, do this thing. We'll figure out what the um, new abilities are um, after this is done.
Another triple. That was a tiny one. Everyone else is up there. Like, is there does it matter where I'm fishing? Probably not. Sunfly. Seems the ship's got some feathered friends. Yeah, we got some birds going by. Which probably means something, but I don't know what. I could imagine someone else playing this game who really knows all, all that it's about, and they're like, Oh, damn it, we got birds. I don't want birds. I needed something else. <laughs> but for me, it's like, oh, it's birds. Yay. Because <laughs> I don't know any better. in the spectral cur current. Azama's sleeve. I need another shark. And then a whole bunch of weak bite fish. I eat their louts. Charlatan Survivor. So it's a fish that makes it that looks like it's a um it's 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 like a, a person. Why would it want to I mean I guess it must must attack people when they try to Try to rescue them. A new record for deep sea. 140 elms. Don't you think it's like inches? It's a big fish. That's a huge fish. Wait a minute, that can't be. That must be centimeters. Or something like that. current over. I didn't get another shark. my gear though, a little bit. Back to plump is what someone's saying. But I don't think I have access to this. I'm just using this lure over and over again. 
I'll try switching to something else. So this says it's for ocean fishing. I'll try it again. It might mean ocean fishing as in standing on the coast. And this is actual ocean fishing. Yeah, this bait's no good. Let's just use our lure. Goals about. A whole flock of goals. I got a buff. Everyone did. A one minute buff. Rotano Sardine. I don't think sardines get very big. So. Though it was worth more points than many of the fish we got in the other place. Deep place. One thing I'm really surprised about is that this is still some. This is something that is equally engaging both at level 90 and level level you know 8, 19. I mean, I'm surprised that I'm able even to catch the fish that they're able to catch. Maybe I'm not. Maybe they're cursing themselves for getting stupid ogre eels all the time when they want to get the rare fish. I could see that. The fish here are huge and slow as they come. Hey, that was a shark. Perfect. Now we just need fish with weak bites, but I don't think we're going to get that enough. Not in three minutes. A wahoo! <laughs> That's a great fish name.
A crimson monkfish. Our inventory is going to be full of fish, and there's, we have no idea what to do with them. <laughs> Maybe we can trade them in or something. Back in, back in port. Fish population? Uh oh. You see a metallic glint just below the water. You've thinned the population of fish in this area enough to lure forth a rare species, which normally remains hidden. There are several types of these timid wavekin. These rare fish will not long rem remain in the area for long. Once you've detected one, focus all your efforts on not letting him be the one that got away. I thought I was going to be, you know, bad. But no, it's just a one minute buff. One minute buff to catch the chance to catch a rare fish, probably. The glen vanishes. Sad. Well, it looks like we didn't get a spectral thing this time. That was our last cast. Hey! That's all the fishing for today. No more fish in the sea! Achievement unlocked. Complete two missions during an ocean fishing voyage. I did. I did score. I got a rare fish. I caught 15 fish when the current was present. And we caught 10 different fish in the bay. And one in Merylther. Mer Mer we didn't catch 10 in the other different types in the other one though, unfortunately. What about the rest of the group? Oh, they did all so much better than me. <laughs> yeah, I got 5,000. They all got 7,000. Oh, well. We're low level. So all I get is 7,000. That's not bad. And we got like like almost ten levels of experience. I'm certainly not complaining about that. Really, I'm 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 honestly impressed that they managed to take something as prosaic as fishing and make it so exciting. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, hold attention that long, but I thought it was lots of fun. Yeah, an hour and a half before.
All right. Other like script exchange. Uh, this lets me convert stuff into bait. I, I, I wanted, I was hoping I'd go with get exchange, get script or something. Because now I have all these fish I don't really need. Oh, this is what I should have bought. Okay. Only for use in ocean fishing. I didn't know I should need to buy these. Okay, well. Suitable for printing. The synthesizable 1.0. I mean, it seems like you just sell them. Suitable for display in aquariums. Like, I'm reluctant just to throw it all away. But I don't think I need it. And if we do, we can always just come back and get more. <laughs> well, okay, well that was interrupting us. We don't, we still need to get that princess trout. Oh wait, I was going to look at what our items are, so uh, I mean our new abilities. We got some. We went up a level, and we got some new abilities. And I didn't have time for it. So patience. Increase the chance of getting a large-sized fish, while reducing hook efficiency by forty percent for sixty seconds. Powerful hook negates inefficient hooking, but has no effect on fish with a weak bite. So that's the okay. I got gotcha. you. And then precision, but has no effect on fish with a strong bite. And Thaliac's favor restores 150 GP. Angler's art costs. Angler's art? What's Angler's art? Angler's art. May grant a stack of Angler's art upon landing a large sized fish. Maximum of 10 stacks. Okay, so the idea would be you save up GP and then you spend it on patience and then you then you, you catch a fish using either powerful or precision hook set and then you restore your GP with a favor. So how do I want to put that? Um, I think... Well, first of all, we can put the light over here. Or somewhere on this side. We'll switch it around. And I don't, I don't really need... Um, no, not that. I don't really need prospecting. Let's put Chum here. The 
patience. No. Switch those two. So, patience is on our right. What's left? Quit? I guess we have to have quit. And then, sneak? That could go over on this side. Alright, and then we have two ways of catching fish. Depending on the size. Um, let's move quit over here. And bring the blessing, or the favor, onto this side. Okay. I think I can make that work. Uh, where are we getting the princess trout? The Nim River in middle of the Nostia. Well, that was a great time, I gotta say. I'm really, I really enjoyed that fishing trip. I do feel like I don't really know what to do with the fish once I caught them, but that's okay. Middle of Nostia. So we should be invisible, we should be sneaky. And let's shift our bait to ocean. And to see if we can fish off the edge of the world. A large coral butterfly. Let's try doing the thing after this. cucumber. Okay, so patience, past. Now based on whether it's one exclamation point or two, we have to hit one of the two buttons. One. I guess it's not actually guaranteeing you better fish. You just you can still get an anchovy. So it's still going for twenty seconds. Wait, there's a heavy one. Ten seconds so we can get a new one star in just a moment. Does it fade or Okay, so it stays until I catch one more. Probably. Light. Alright. And now I can use this to restore GP a little bit. And do it again.
light. Ten seconds left. So it seems like we are pretty easily able to get three fishing casts off per patience buff. This isn't even where we need to be, right? Uh, not that. Fishing along. So the Zephyr... Okay, so wow, there's... There's a whole bunch of different ones. Zephyr Drift. Could have all these things. We haven't caught them all yet. Oh, uh, which... Where did it say I needed it? The Nim River. Undiscovered fishing hole. Nothing. Brom baits. Yeah, I'm still using ocean fish, aren't I? Freshwater. Hey, there it is. Princess Trout. A new personal record for rivers. I think that's our first river fish. <laughs> Look how many fish there are. We've seen so few. Wow, there's a lot of fish in the game. Folklore Dravania not required to gather a tome of mythological folklore. So there's some fish we're not available to be caught yet. Oh my god, this just goes on and on. These are the deep sea fish we caught. Okay. Forty six pages. No records. So on the coastlines. Look at this. Compare compare these different ones. A five ilm fish, a twelve ilm fish, a hundred and forty ilm fish. That's quite impressive. That was the Rogue River, not the Nim River. I kind of just want to fish a bit more and fill up, fill this up a little bit. Here, let me just. I can't walk out there. That's fine. Another princess crown.
All right. So I am thoroughly engaged. Like, I want to run around and, like, get all the fishing holes and loot, see all the fish that are in each one and so on like that and, you know, f populate all this data. I'm going to do a little bit more. Like, I'm going to check um, the other the other river. But, um, and then, then we'll go back and turn it in. And I know I've been fishing an awful lot this this part, but it's fun. So is this the Nim? No, this is the West Aegis River. Well, does that mean if I go over on the other side of the bridge, there'll be a different river? No, this is still West Atlas. There's some, but that's fishable. It lit up for a second. There it is. No. There we go. Undiscovered fishing hole. This is the Nim River. Gotcha. Dusk Gobi. Let's see if this um, ocean over here is a different area. Yep, undiscovered. A 
harbor herring. This is Summerford. There's still one left. Up to the north, perhaps? So this looks like it's bounded on both sides by um, by mountains. Yeah, there's nothing here. It must have been far to the south. Or maybe, I don't know. Somewhere else along the coast. Let's go home. And I'll actually be right back. All right, let's go ahead and turn this in. Depending on perspective, you either rescued or abducted the princess. A prim and proper princess she is. We'll better her as a royal roast, a feast fit for a king. The king can keep his fancy feast. Any fisherman worth her salt prefers her trout prepared simply. Said like a surly, salty mouth sea hag, hand her over here and heed how the cultured classes cook. A fine day it'll be when I take culture lessons from you. Besides, I didn't send Ye out to that river to fetch a fish for you. I sent her out to fetch a fish for me. I've got two. For my lesson, that is. Yes, of course, that was the purpose of the expedition. As you should have learned, catching a proper fish requires perseverance. And this plump princess trout can testify to that. ones. A lot of these are almost ready to go. But we'll use this gear again. Or probably not the rod, but oh well. Next! Now that you can catch more fish than you can eat, it's time you learned a little about the art of fishmongering. Customers purchase fish that have already been caught, but a certain Kikirin sailor has a penchant for freshness. The fishermen who usually fill this order have all somewhat ironically gone fishing. Talk to Chichurun over there. Chichurun, the sailors sail the seas. Are you the fisherwoman fish the fish? 
Looking out as lookouts to two ruined spot spots in the water. Jumping silver fish jump, flashing silver flashes. Futurin wishes to taste silver fish taste. His way appears to be okay. Away with words, doesn't he? His way appears to be repeating the words silver fish. Only the most experienced fisherman would be able to decipher that nonsense. Sounds like a job for Wawalago, since I'm busy doing his job. Where is he? <clears throat> that woman's well aware of my weakness. If she's going to shout about the way I shove down shrimp, she should know better than to leave them a showing on the shelf. The lot of fells like alliteration. If it was silver and sauntered while skimming the sea, I am somewhat certain he saw a navigator's dagger. Daggers don't lend themselves to a Lemonsen's liking, but the settlers of the Southerly Isles stir them into soup stock. You can find them by the Brewer's Beacon. Snaring one is a slippery slight for a starner, but a fit flitting flick of the fist for a fisherman with a gold's eye like you have. Daggers are drawn to decoys that dangle. Fetch some rat tails. Enjoy having your every whim met by one of our adorable maids slash butlers. Come have a drink at our immersive bar experience or spend time with one of our lovely talented courtesans. Okay. I need some rat tails. Ocean, well, where, he said it was near a beacon. Near Brewer's Beacon in Western Lanoskia. Western Lanoskia, so it's not either one of these. Um, just warp there. Brewer's Beacon. Brewers Beacon. Why am I not seeing this? Oh, there it is. Brewers Beacon. It's just hiding there. So it's actually... Okay, we just need to find a ferry. Where is the ferry in this area? That's not the right one. Am I at the right place? Maybe I'm not. It looks like there's a way to get to Western Thailand. Western Thailand? I don't want to be in Western Thailand. Where's the fairy person? I think I'm in the wrong place.
There we go. I do have to admit, one thing that's pretty apparent from um, watching this... Wait a minute, that's Western Thailand. This isn't at all the right place. No! Oh. I'm an idiot. I needed to go to, to Western... This is just all wrong. Can I go back? For 80 gil, I guess. Let's just, let's see. Western Lanoskia, that's where it is, down there. The Minzen Ferry Docks is right next to the Fisherman's Guild. I'm an idiot. I was, right, was already right there. That's the beacon. here? No. Oh, before we uh, sneak Not the right fish.
Might not get a third one here. That was slow. We did. Just barely. Wait a minute, this is Swift Perch. Is that the right one? That's... it doesn't seem like the right one. Maybe I need to go further over here? Yeah, this is now another undiscovered one. We were not in the right fishing hole. Releasing fish. Every good fisher knows even Nafika's bounty is not limitless, and will therefore return to the water any unwanted catches, so the matron may take them to her bo bosom once more. This is called releasing, and the action is available to all fishers. Released fish will not be added to your inventory, preserving area populations. Once you've released a certain type of fish, you will continue to release that fish should you catch it again. Okay. Well, I need this one, so no. I'll release that one, though.
a helmet crab. We can release that one. Don't think we need that. White coral. Stretching the definition of a fish there, I'd say. But that's fine. There we go. Here's your fish, good sir. And the shiny shine, the smelly smell, cannot wait to taste, tasty taste. Maybe chuchur on season with season, or smoke with smoke. Maybe grill on grill. Many, many cooking options for cook. So many of these freeloading fishermen can't be bothered to stay ashore for more than a day at a time. You, on the other hand, have proven far more reliable. And I can think of at least one Kikirin who'd agree. Now that you've seen how rewarding fishmongering can be, I hope you'll take the initiative to try it yourself. You might recall Chichuran. There aren't enough fish in the sea, so he set his sights on freshwater fish. Employ a lure in place of live bait. Snag warm water trout with crow flies. They're in Oakwood and Upper Lenoski. I have never been to Upper Lanoskia. I don't think I need to. I'm not going to do that now. That outfit. I mean, wow. Okay. I think we're done fishing for now. Let's go. Let's go and see what our next MSQ is. It's up this way. Batter has information on a new task. 
Whatever it is you're asked to do, I somehow doubt it opposed any trouble for an adventurer as survived the Bedlam in Sastasha. If you think you might be interested, speak to Mother Mion, your counterpart in Gridan. How do I get their best? We don't need to watch this, we already did it once. Alright, so before we do anything else, I want to switch classes. Because we need a healer. Lots of people are in Gridania too, and maybe Old Dawn is just, you know, not very well populated compared to the two. Alright, I think I'm going to stop here actually. This was a very trade skill focused or crafting focused part. But next time we're going to go ahead and become a... We're going to mostly focus on leveling up a, a new conjurer. And then we'll probably have to run some dungeons with them. But we'll see. We'll see where, where things lead us next time. Oh, of course, we have to do all the quests in Gridania. You know, all the ones that just have us run around and talk to the people in town. <laughs> That'll be fun. But we'll see you all that next time. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time.